guys we're out here in the field or I guess I'm out here by myself uh, I have this pivot and that motor right there is bad it keeps burning up fuses and it finally just burned itself up and welded itself so it doesn't work anymore so I've got to take that off luckily we had one so in our granary we had this one so I'm going to put it on. It should take a little while. It's not too hard. It's not the heaviest thing. So yeah, I'll uh, show you how to change a pivot motor on a tower of a pivot. Okay, so the first thing I gotta do is take this off, get these wires out, unwire it. It's deer fly season. So there's deer flies everywhere trying to eat me. Get your electrical checker out here and uh, make sure there actually is no power so you don't start pulling wires out if there's power. wires unhooked now we have to unbolt these couplers and take the, the drive axles off and then we'll have to unbolt the gearbox and everything from the pivot different coupler the old style okay so I had to go to the shop I didn't have the right socket I needed a 7 16 I also need a new coupler to replace this coupler so now I gotta take all that off hopefully this socket will work
Got it. Just have to use a little bit of force. Well, Christopher's come to help me out. Come to the rescue. Hey, look at that, I made it easy for you. What we got going on is we got this coupler on and shaft but this shaft is too too long for the new coupler and motor so we have to try and hammer this coupler on a little bit further to try and get the shaft to fit we can find the piece that just well it didn't go very far <laughs> Just gotta hook up that shaft. When Christopher gets back, we'll be done. Hey, 
it's the coupler's there, but there's no no threads or anything on it. Oh, dang. So that's how it was on the other one too. I wonder if that's what made it burn up. Water gets in there. Yeah. I wonder if we could wrap something around that. Got it all switched. New couplers, shortened shaft, wired it up. We'll go turn it on and see if it works. All right, we just started the pivot, got it going. Uh, we did have one issue. Man, these flies are trying to eat me alive. Uh, we had one issue. The old pump wasn't, or the old, not pump, the old motor wasn't wired correctly. So when we wired the new one correctly, it was going backwards, so we couldn't get it working. So Christopher had to go back out and climb up on the tower and switch a couple wires to get the motor to go the right direction. So now it's going. That was the only uh, only issue we've been having with this pivot. So hopefully we should be able to go the rest of the year without any troubles. We're only going to be watering the grain for about probably three more weeks, maybe two more weeks, and then we'll be shutting it off, and it'll. It'll die down and start to dry out and then we'll harvest it about end of August. So, yeah, well, thanks for joining me. Hope you learned something. Uh, if you would subscribe and share it with your friends, that would be great. Thanks.